Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to your bi-weekly love forecast for January 29th to February 10th. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you do is click the join button below. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, it's jenniferwalkerzen.com. Okay, or you can check out the description box of this video. All right, so what's going on my Virgos for American Love Life for January 29th to February 10th? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Also remember that these are general messages. They're not gonna resonate with everyone. So you can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul. Your moon sign represents your emotions. And your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these make up who you are. So feel free to cross that for more information. What's going on my Virgos? Romantic love life of January 29th to February 10th. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. And today we're going to be doing an assessment of your love interest. So this can be for singles or couples. And we're also going to talk about the feelings of your love interest. It can be singles or couples. And then we're going to do in the outcome. And then we'll be jumping onto the singles. So. so if you guys like it this way, you can hit that like button and let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Today I'll be using my own oracle deck, so if you guys would like to pre-order that, it's at jenniferwalkerzen.com. Alright, so, how does my Virgos love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does my Virgos love interest feel about them romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So this is going to be for, what's going on with this relationship? Like, what's, the, what's going on with this connection? So you don't have to be in a relationship with this person, okay? It's just what's going on with this connection? What is the blockage, delay, or challenge around this connection? What does this person want to make the connection work? What's the influence that's happening with this connection? And this is going to be your outcome here. And this is going to be how your love interest feels about you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> All right, so as you guys can see, it's a pretty extensive reading. We're gonna layer more cards on top of this and then we're gonna jump in the singles, so stick with me till the end. Let's jump right in. Well, I feel like there's a lot of hopefulness about this connection, actually, because we got the star card energy. The star card energy can also show that there's a spiritual, deeper connection here. There is uh, someone who's wishing and hoping for things to happen here. There's definitely a bright light here and a long connection here. That's what I feel like. I also feel like for some of you, there may be a sense of separation or isolation too with the tower card energy or something to do with a building here because we got the tower card energy, possibly a corporate building here. Because remember, the Lenormand can be very literal or there is a sense of, all right, I need things organized and structured in a certain way here, right? I need uh, something done in a very strict way. Okay, let's keep going here. And one plus nine is saying, okay, something that needs to be completed to start anew. Okay, a sense of accomplishment, a sense of completion here. I'm very hopeful about things. You know, I'm wishing and hoping for things here. Okay, what is part of the blockage, delay, and challenge? Well, we got the devil card energy. Now, the devil card energy could be showing there's a lot of toxic energy. Okay, that could be part of a block Jillian challenge. There could be a lot of obsessive energy. Okay, there could be a strong attachment here. Maybe uh, somebody is strongly attached to somebody. Okay, that's causing some challenges around here. There could be strong temptations here with the devil card energy. Yeah, we see there's a person card coming out. So the person, there may be a person that's part of the blockage Jillian challenge, possibly even a toxic person that's coming between you and this connection, okay? So what does this uh, person want to make this connection work here? Well, we have the Four of Cups energy. Well, Four of Cups is like, um, they're like, all right, there's a lot of opportunities here, but they feel like, all right, whatever I'm gonna offer to them, they're not gonna accept here. Or this person doesn't wanna miss an opportunity here with the Four of Cups energy. Or they feel like uh, they're like, all right, well, I don't wanna miss an opportunity here. I don't want them to miss an opportunity here. And the Fox card is saying it's a strategic energy. They want you to be you know, honest with them with the Fox card energy. So we see, they have a sense of, all right, 
Um, they don't want you to have a sense of boredom. That could be the Four of Cups energy. They may want you to not miss an opportunity okay with them uh, they may be like all right well whatever they're offering they feel like you're not accepting here with the four of cups energy with the fox card energy they want you to be very strategic or they want you to be honest with them with the fox card energy okay so we see there is the star card which shows i'm hopeful optimistic about uh, this missed opportunity or things that are being offered are being accepted about these challenges when it comes to, and the cherry card energy is part of the influence when it comes to this long distance uh, connection, because remember this is the influence, because the chariot for me is like a movement card, travel card, or there is somebody who's being very controlling, or they have a lot, there's a lot of willpower at play here, right? Or there's a person that's like, I need to take charge of things to be victorious here. And we see there's something to do with a letter, a message, a document, or paperwork here. So we see that well, if we mirror that, what's it to do with? Someone who's being very strategic when it comes to a message. Their sense of isolation or separation or something to do with this person. We see that there could be multiple people involved with the Four of Cups energy. And uh, there's a sense of, I, I need to take charge of things to be victorious. I'm trying to be hopeful even though there's some challenges around this, some toxic energy possibly here with the Devil Card energy being there. We see that something needs to end to start anew and something needs to change here. And two plus nine is 10, 11. A choice needs to be made. Two plus seven is eight, nine to fulfill wishes here. Okay, that's the assessment of the connection. Now let's see how this love interest feels about you. They do feel like you're an opportunity for them, okay? What is the key card? When the key card comes out, it means that a yes answer, right? Or it means success or something important. They feel like you're important to them. They feel like they want to be successful here. They feel like they're obsessed here, the obsessions card. Or like the devil card energy, they feel like there's some challenges here that's causing them some stress around this, okay? This person is like dealing with a lot of stress and anxiety here. They know that there's an opportunity here for success. Um, and they may be obsessing about this and they're, maybe they're feeling like something's going to happen where it won't work out so they feel stressful about things with the stress card energy. So let's now see how this outcome is going to play here, right? So we see that you guys got a choice to be made here. Two of Wands energy. Choice is happening here, coming up. And the tree card shows me that either somebody wants to lay down some roots here with the tree card energy or there is a sense of healing and recovery. There's something secret going on about this choice with the High Priestess card energy because of this person. And we see the Ten of Swords energy is saying, okay, I'm getting over this hurt and pain. Something is coming to a completion. I'm, I'm coming out of this, right? Ending to start anew here. So there's a choice being made, something secret about this choice, about ending some hurt or pain here, Ten of Swords energy. And we see the dog card energy. This person wants to be loyal to you, wants to be friendly to you, okay? Or there is a friend involved here, okay? So there's healing happening, a choice for healing, something secret about this person, and ending of hurt and pain because of loyalty and friendliness with the dog card energy. Okay, let's go further. Let's lay this down further. Yeah, King of Cups is saying, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. I want to be wise in my decision making when it comes to love. You're my ideal partner. You're everything that I need. The Magician card energy. You're always on my mind. Four of, four of Wands energy. I'm constantly thinking about you. Four of Wands energy. Excuse me, Four of Swords energy. I don't know why I keep saying Four of Wands. Four of Wands means marriage and long-term commitment. Four of Swords means... Uh, thinking, contemplating, and planning. So this person has like, all right, you know what? There was a realization with this person. They're like, Virgo, you are a wise choice when it comes to love and romance. You're the ideal situation for me. You have everything that I need, and you've really been on my mind. I, I've been really planning, thinking, contemplating here. I want to be loyal to you. I'm ready to end this hurt and this pain here. And there's something secret about this choice or also the high priest can be saying this person is using their intuition or the book can also be saying, the high priest can also be saying like the book card energy, they're gaining knowledge. They gain knowledge, they made a choice to end this hurt and pain because they're like, wow, you know what? This is really 
true love here and I'm, I'm ready to be wise in my decision making when it comes to love because you are my ideal connection. You are my ideal partner here, the Magician card energy. Wow, quite a reading here, Virgo. Okay, <laughs> yes. If you guys like this, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You know I want to hear from you guys. We're going to jump on to the singles. You can, pay, you, can, you can hang around for the singles if you like because I know um, some of you do tell me that it resonates with you as well. So bear with me for a second here while I clear this out of the way. Let me clear this out of the way here. All right, so what's going on? Virgo Singles Romantic Love Life for January 29th to February 10th. Virgo Singles Romantic Love Life, January 29th to February 10th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Virgo Singles Romantic Love Life for January 29th to February 10th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see what's going on here, Virgo. All right, so there's some, you guys are dealing with some uh, responsibilities and burdens here with the Ten of Wands energy. Some of you are dealing with something work-related here with the Bear card energy, or there is somebody who's being very nurturing and caring with the Bear card energy that's trying to help you uh deal with all these burdens and responsibility or there's some things weighing heavy on your mind about this uh strength or control here with the bear card energy are we trying to gain control of these burdens these responsibilities for some of you because of healing and recovery and a sense of completion the blockage seems to be for you guys there's some heavy choices or work-life balances going on here and some issues around travel or movement or change as part of your blockage lay and challenge here your influence in your romantic love life is this defeated energy. Should I stand up and fight? Should I walk away from the situation? We do see that there could be somebody who may be paying you a visit that's part of this influence or that you're getting news about somebody being really defeated about the, the connection. It's like, I don't know, should I stand up and fight? Should I walk away? Uh, I need some sense of change here. I do feel like you're an opportunity for me, Virgo. So let's see what the outcome is here, Virgo. Yeah, someone's taking romantic gestures towards you, Virgo. And we see that the, there's a boat in this card. So I, I see the block and challenge for some of you. You may be traveling for some of you, or there's something to do with movement, travel, or foreign here. So when I see the Six of Swords energy, for some of you, there could be some romantic gestures while you're traveling. Okay, for others of you, you are like, oh wow, there's romantic gestures, and now I'm finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. There's a sense of healing and recovery here. When it came to being left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles energy, because now we have a key there so it shows there's an opportunity that you could open that door here so there's some romantic gestures and now you're kind of like all right there's something going on here but you still kind of have that sense of loss a still sense of being left out in the cold but now you see virgo there is a key there that you could open that door right keys represent an opportunity here anchor card energy we see that there's something to do with stability and stableness and some repeating patterns here with the whip card energy that you're trying to gain knowledge about with the book card energy okay all right my virgos i love you guys so much if you like this hit that like button let me know in the comments below i'll see you guys in another day or two have a great rest of your next couple weeks and thank you to my members and i'll see you soon